Hi friends, welcome back to Daisy Chain Principles or welcome if you're new, my name is Libby. And today we are going to be doing a flip through of Math Lessons for Living Education Level 2. I am so excited. My son is going through his second time through Level 1. He is doing so well flying through it. He is going to be in this book in a matter of weeks. And as I was going through it after it arrived in the mail a few days ago, I was like so excited looking at the concepts he's going to be learning that I thought I may as well make a video and share it with you guys. So there is kind of a lack of descriptive videos of this math program on YouTube. Um, there are a few and the ones that there are really good, but I wish there were more, so I'm going to make them. Uh, one of the best ones is from Homeschool On. If you don't know about Rebecca Spooner, you totally should. She is incredible. Go subscribe to Homeschool On and watch the live video she made where she goes in depth over all six of these books. But this video will be for the purpose of isolating this book by itself. Here's the scope and sequence. So you can see they always start with review of place value, village, addition, subtraction, writing numbers 0 through 100. Lesson 5 gets into some new concepts. We're going to introduce word problems on page 53. I'll show you some review first. So they do a lot of copy work, as is common in Charlotte Mason approach. There's always a story at the beginning of each week to go along with the lessons. Review of the days of the week. Review of telling time at the top of the hour. More copy work. Sing getting up to 100. Counting with the place value village, which is just, it's just little columns of ones, tens, and hundreds. He practices with manipulatives. Review of addition. Making a clock. And then this is lesson three. Each lesson lasts a week. Review of subtraction, fun leaf activity here. She does have a little bit of science incorporated throughout, which I love. I'm going to skip ahead to 53 where the new concepts kick in. To new concepts, and here are some examples of word problems if you want to pause and read them. Some more review is mixed in. This is both spiral and mastery, so the review is going to be continued is going to continue to be mixed in. More word problems here if you want to pause and read. Review and a fun activity. I love that she incorporates these tracing and coloring. Here uh, is skip counting. He did learn skip counting in level one. Going to be doing it with money. So that would be the new concept layering onto what he learned last year is learning money value. So here's a nice example of a lesson that combines spiral and mastery. Here's the spiral approach. She's having him review counting by tens and writing it, working even more on drilling those concepts of money, the value of different coins, and then ending with practicing flashcards. Skipping ahead to lesson 11, they're going to introduce measurement. So they begin by explaining that 12 inches equals one foot, and then you introduce your child to um, a ruler or tape measure, and they just literally measure these lines and write the inches. So just very practical application. Silas will enjoy that too. And then some review, fill in the blanks, counting by fives. And then down here, review with a clock. We use a little play clock. He, they're going to have him review that with the minute hand, that the minute hand counts by fives, um, which is both review and also prepping him because later in the book, he's going to learn to tell time by the minute, which is something he did not learn in level one. They, they only learned telling time at the top of the hour. And then here he has practical application for measuring, kind of the reverse of what we see over here. So he's going to start at the star and draw five inches, draw two inches, draw six inches, and review at the bottom. I love that. I love how she constantly mixes new concept review, new concept review. And you can see that these lessons are short, right? So for some kids, this is perfect. For other kids, you're gonna need that practice makes perfect book if they're just the kind of kid who needs tons of repetition. Use your clock to work out these word problems. Ella ate at one o'clock this afternoon. She eats again in three hours. What time will it be? Combining math and telling time. Love this. She is combining word problems with math, with telling time, and then review of 
just regular double digit addition facts at the bottom. Moving on to lesson 12, introducing perimeter. So they explain what a polygon is and how you add up each side to determine the perimeter. And then they have him practice on the next page with this square, figure the perimeter of a triangle, review of money, review of telling time. So he actually draws the hands in himself for the assigned time. Moving on to lesson 13, where he is going to learn to tell time by the minute. So here you can see they have him start practicing, they assign him a time. So using the clock he made, or in our case, we'll probably just use the play clock we already have on hand. He'll show me what 521 looks like, 346 and on. Review of addition, review of measuring. There are really no gaps, I am so impressed. Review of place value village, so he puts three and five appropriately in the tens and ones columns for me. Practice of telling time to the minute. Review of perimeter work. And how cute is this activity I wake up at, I take a shower at. Practical application for telling time. Lesson 14 gets into the thousands place. I'm gonna add that to the place value village we make. She also, there's the sheet that we have with columns, but then you also take cups and you name the cups. Thousands house, hundreds house, tens house. Review of counting by hundreds, lots of copy work. So the idea is just to get him to count to a thousand so he understands how you get to that number and why you need to transfer nine over all the way to the thousands, why it looks the way it does. Skipping ahead to lesson 19, how to write down you know, four cents in its proper columns. It's gonna practice counting money here and writing it appropriately. Then like here, she will spontaneously just have a week dedicated to review, review of money. 21 introduces things like thermometers. When we read the temperature, what do we count by? Just teaching them to notice make your own thermometer. Left, she does incorporate some crafts, but it's not craft heavy. It's not like you have to it's mostly open and go, but if there is a craft, it is so simple. Like it's just gonna be common household items to prepare it. Get to make salt water taffy, as I'm sure that involves reading the temperature. Reading bar graphs and line graphs. So he'll write down the temperatures of the days on the left side of this graph and then record them with me. More on measurement pounds and ounces. Look at the pictures below. Decide if you would use ounces or pounds to measure their weight. Under each picture, write either OZ for ounces or LBS for pounds. And then you just go around the house and take note of how much things weigh. Here too is for pounds. Then you take that concept and she combines it with what he learns about graphs. I love that. He's going to graph the number of ounces in items. So cool. Moving on to gallons, quarts, pints, and cups, and more recipes. How to make Mr. One Gallon. Here's all the pictures you cut out to put Mr. Gallon together. Such a cute idea. Just going over the breakdown of the measurements with him. And here he draws a picture of something he chose to cook with me. She's big on making sure kids are proud of their work. Then she again sets aside a week to just review measurements and go over that some more. So here are just like some quiz-like questions. How many inches in one foot? She has some story problems about measurements, more story problems, copy work for both measurements and the days of the week. So review. She is combining what he learned about money with addition. So adding things up as money. Here she has some just regular math problems for him and here they're in the form of stories. Here's review of graphing and she asks questions about the graph. So he, there's one prepped and then he has to read it. Another cute activity, Silas loves mazes. And from what I can tell in scope and sequence, the rest of the book, because here we're on day 132, there are only 180 days in the school year. The rest is pretty much review. And that's it.
that's it you guys i hope that this video was helpful if it was please remember to like subscribe turn the notification bell on and comment below and let me know if you have any questions my contact information is in the description box and i'll see you guys next time bye